Crocodiles are very large animals. They are larger than all other modern sauropsids. The focus is almost always on large crocodiles and there is always great curiosity among people about just how big they grow. All species of crocodiles show a pronounced sexual dimorphism, with males growing larger than females and often at a more rapid rate. Growth of crocodiles is usually described as indeterminate, that is, continuing throughout life, but data are lacking. Certainly, growth depends on many factors such as the food supply. In addition, it is reliably known that the growth rate of crocodiles with age greatly slows down and at some point, it becomes asymptotic. The growth pattern of crocodiles is generally similar to that observed in large mammals, but crocodiles grow much more slowly, and the vast majority of adults are far from their asymptotic size. How large is the largest crocodile? This is a tricky question and there are no really satisfying answers to it. On the internet, you can find many reports of crocodiles ranging from 8 to 10 meters long, allegedly shot by hunters in past centuries. However, forget about these statements. Accepting such an extraordinary claim would require the support of compelling documentation, which is always lacking. In all cases, when any remains of the alleged 8 to 10 meters long crocodiles were preserved, it turned out that they belonged to much smaller animals. However, in contrast to this, there is also the opinion that 6 meters and 1 ton is the maximum size that extant crocodilians can reach. This is also not true. Reliable data about crocodile size are hard to obtain. Much of what is reported is based on estimation rather than actual measurement, often by comparison with the length of a boat or, perhaps, pacing out the length. In this video, I will share the data I have collected on largest crocodiles ever recorded. Most of the data are not based on measurements of whole animals, but on measurements of their skulls, the most important of which is the maximum width and the length along the curved midline, measured from the premaxilla to the parietal. MNHNPMPA11803 is the longest known saltwater crocodile skull. It is housed at the Paris Museum and originally comes from Cambodia. It has a dorsal cranial length of 76 cm, maximum skull width of 48 cm and mandible length of 98 cm 3 mm. By the sum of its length and width measurements, it is also the largest known skull of an extant crocodilian. Adam Britton estimated the length of this crocodile at 6 meters 84 centimeters using a ratio of dorsal cranial length to total length of 1 to 9, typical for large saltwater crocodiles. Although the actual total length of this specimen was never preserved, these figures strongly suggest a nearly 7 meter saltwater crocodile. Anich in 1908 had reported that a large skull of saltwater crocodile was presented to the Raffles Museum of Biodiversity Research by Mr. Edgar in 1887. He noted that the skull must have belonged to a monster quite 22 feet in length and it probably came from Java. Now this specimen is included in the zoological reference collection under the number ZRC 2.7300 and named Edgar in honor of its sender. Edgar is the widest known saltwater crocodile skull. It has a dorsal cranial length of 70 cm 1 mm and maximum skull width of 52 cm which is quite matched with the stated total length of 6 m 70 cm. There are several known crocodile skulls, probably comparable in size to Edgar. Unfortunately, there is no data on the animals to which they belonged, so estimates of their size are rather speculative. One huge skull comes from St. Petersburg. There is quite a bit of information about this specimen. It was originally described by Iodansky in 1973 and is kept in the Zoological Museum of the Russian Academy of Sciences in St. Petersburg. With a dorsal cranial length of 74 cm and a calculated width of 45 cm 7 mm, this is the third largest saltwater crocodile skull in the world based on the sum of measurements. BMNH47.3, 5.33 is another huge saltwater crocodile skull about which there is little information. It is kept in the British Museum of Natural History in London and its measurements is provided in paper by Webb and Messel. 
with a dorsal cranial length of 71 cm 5 mm and a calculated width of 47 cm 8 mm. This is the fourth largest saltwater crocodile skull in the world based on the sum of measurements. The largest saltwater crocodile skull in India is owned by Prince Shivendra, the Raya of the erstwhile Principality of Kanika. It has a dorsal cranial length of 73 cm 3 mm and maximum skull width of 45 cm 8 mm. By the sum of its length and width measurements, it is slightly smaller than Edgar. This huge man-eater crocodile was killed in 1926 on the Damra River. It was originally reported to be 7 meters long. If those figures are true then ratio of dorsal cranial length to total length would be 1 to 9 and half, sufficiently high for minor skepticism but still feasible. Applying the more conservative 1 to 9 ratio to Collier gives an estimated total length of 6 meters 60 centimeters. Australia's largest saltwater crocodile skull is on display at the Kaburi Tavern, on the Arnhem Highway, about one hour route of Darwin. The crocodile, measured by the fishermen at about 6 meters 70 centimeters long, had become entangled in a fishing net and was believed by fishermen to have drowned. After the fishermen took photographs of themselves with the crocodile, including with their heads in its mouth, the crocodile suddenly started showing signs of life. It was then finished off with an axe. It has a dorsal cranial length of 72 cm 8 mm and maximum skull width of 45 cm 8 mm. Trabori is slightly smaller than the previously mentioned skulls. It is slightly longer but considerably narrower than Edgar and also has the same maximum width but slightly shorter than Collier, and all three crocodiles may have been in a similar size. On 11 October 1979 a very large saltwater crocodile was found dead in a fishing net at Obo, approximately 320 kilometers above the mouth of the Fly River in the western province of Papua New Guinea. The carcass had already been slaughtered, but the complete head, skin and the distal part of the tail were still at the site. By laying out skin, placing the head and tail tip in position, and measuring between pegs, the total length of the crocodile recorded by several zoologists including Jerome Montague and Ron Whitaker, was 6 meters 20 centimeters 2 millimeters. Because skins are known to underestimate the original size of the actual animal and crocodiles are usually measured along a curve, the actual length of a whole carcass would be at least another 10 centimeters longer. It has a dorsal cranial length of 72 cm or 70 cm when the skull was dried and maximum skull width of 45 cm 1 mm or 45 cm when the skull was dried. The capture of an exceptionally large saltwater crocodile from a small creek not far from Banawan in the Agusan del Sur province of Mindanao in the Philippines made international headlines on 3 September 2011. An experienced member of the Palawan Wildlife Rescue and Conservation Center, Ernesto Lolong Siaid, died of a heart attack in late August 2011 shortly before the crocodile's eventual capture. The crocodile was named Lolong in his memory. Lolong's capture was coordinated by wildlife specialist Ronnie Sumler and other members of Palawan Wildlife Rescue and Conservation Center. Steel nooses baited with buffalo meat were deployed hanging from trees along the creek. The first four nooses were destroyed by the crocodiles struggling before a fifth, thicker cabled noose was successful. Lolong's total length, measured at 6 meters 17 centimeters over curve and 6 meters 9 centimeters 5 millimeters between pegs, makes him the largest wild crocodile ever captured alive. The measurement taken by Edwin Ellard shortly after capture is 6 meters 40 centimeters, it was slightly higher than the one obtained by a group of scientists from Lolong in his enclosure at the Banawan Eco Park on 9 November 2011. Although measurement inaccuracy may be a factor, it is also likely a result of the crocodile's posture when it was strapped to a cart with the tail hanging onto the ground. Lolong was also weighed at 1075 kilograms, making him the heaviest weighted wild crocodile. Lolong had a head 70 centimeters long and 45 centimeters wide. After his death, 
His dorsal cranial length was measured at 69 cm 8 mm and his maximum skull width was measured at 43 cm 7 mm. This huge skull from Australia is kept in Wildlife Section, Department of the Northern Territory, Darwin. It came from a saltwater crocodile caught and killed by fish poachers on 1 July 1974. The specimen was entangled in a net set in the Mary River. The skinned carcass without the head was 5 meters 48 centimeters long. With the skull, the total length of the crocodile was at least 6 meters 15 centimeters. It has a dorsal cranial length of 66 centimeters and maximum skull width of 48 centimeters. Large crocodile skull was recovered from a riverbank in August 2010 near Do Sao Bridge, in Ninh Binh, Ninh Thieu District, Khun Thieh, province in southern Vietnam. The skull named Do Sao is now deposited in the Vietnam National Museum of Nature, Hano. It has a dorsal cranial length of 70 cm 7 mm and maximum skull width of 42 cm which makes it slightly smaller than Lo Long by some of its measurements, but makes Do Sao the largest crocodile skull known in Vietnam. Dosao was estimated to be 6 meters 30 centimeters to 6 meters 80 centimeters long in its description by Thomas Siedler and co-authors, but this is probably an exaggeration, since the skull of Dosao is smaller by some of measurements than skulls of Lo Long and Old Charlie. Such big crocodiles are very rare now. It takes decades for them to reach such a size and, in a world in which human activity intrudes upon and modifies habitats ever increasingly, they face many hazards. On the other hand, with climate change underway, which will probably be advantageous for them. As you may have noticed, all of the crocodiles in this top are saltwater crocodiles, which is considered the largest modern crocodile species. Data on large individuals of other crocodilian species are older and less reliable. However, special attention should be paid to the report from the famous naturalist and explorer Alexander von Humboldt, who reported the measurement of a 6 meters 78 centimeters long Orinoco crocodile in the Orinoco River in 1800. The measurement was made by his co-traveler and, later, co-author the then Bonpland, who was trained in medicine and botany and who later became a very well-known botanist. Bonpland also has a lunar crater named after him. His measurement might, therefore, have been quite trustworthy. The Nile crocodile is often considered the second largest species after the saltwater crocodile. However, this opinion can be questioned. The largest known Nile crocodile skulls are significantly smaller than those of saltwater crocodiles. Wittigerim Wittigerim Dwondioid reported a Nile crocodile skull with a dorsal cranial length of 68 cm 6 mm and a maximum width of 40 cm 4 mm. The skull kept in Arba Minch, Ethiopia. The largest accurately measured Nile crocodile on record was probably one taken on the Semliki River by a member of the Uganda Game and Fisheries Dept in 1953. This specimen was measured between pegs of 5 meters 94 centimeters with belly skin measuring 1 meter 45 centimeters across. Hippel, an experienced professional hunter, as reported by Cott in 1961, described that during a safari in the Lower Skleki in June 1954, he shot his largest crocodile, a 5 meters 59 centimeters long female. If the sex of this crocodile was determined correctly, then it is the largest known female crocodile of any extant species. This female crocodile is actually close in size to the largest Nile crocodile recorded in the SCI trophy records, which was measured at 5 meters 66 centimeters. It is also claimed that the American crocodile and Gangetic gharial can reach over 6 meters. There is a huge American crocodile skull at the American Museum of Natural History in New York. At 70 and half centimeters this specimen, AMNH 7139, is longer than the Lolong skull. However, based on postcranial skeleton described by McKin 1921, this animal seems to be just very large-headed and during life it was unlikely to be much more than 4 meters in length. However, Alvarez del Toro in 1974 indicated the maximum recorded length of the American crocodile at 6 meters 25 centimeters, and this figure is accepted by some scientists. Unfortunately, I could not find any details about the measurements of this individual. 
Hornaday in 1885 mentions a stuffed specimen of gangetic gharial at Jardin de Plantes, Paris, with total length about 6 meters 18 centimeters. Bittman in 1925 gives 6 meters 45 centimeters as the maximum length of this species. Two adult males at Setkosia Gorge in Orissa are estimated by Buster to be 6 meters 60 centimeters long. The largest skulls of gangetic gharials are longer than those of saltwater crocodiles. The largest known skull of a gangetic gharial is preserved in the Munich Museum and has a dorsal cranial length of 77 cm 3 mm. However, the longest skull of a modern crocodilian belongs to the false gavial, which is often ignored in questions about the maximum size of crocodilians. This skull is kept in a British museum and has a dorsal cranial length of 84 cm. Unfortunately, there are currently not enough data to reliably estimate the total length of these long-snouted crocodilians from their skulls. At the end of this video, I would like to show the table I created, which contains data on the average asymptotic sizes of crocodiles of different species and the largest recorded individuals in accordance with the literature data.